please join me in welcoming David Newman, the director of MIT Media Labs, to the stage. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We're thrilled to have you with us, and I'm going to welcome John Oxendorf, my co-conspirator, co-chair. Oh, yeah. See you. <laughs> Great to be here. Nice to see you all. We're so glad to welcome you. Welcome to the Media Lab. Uh, this is where we make magic happen. We imagine that future. And today, we get to hear from an amazing uh, set of folks at AI and creativity, art, design, engineering, science, right? Without art and culture, creativity, we actually have no civilization. We want a flourishing, positive civilization. And that includes all of you. We'll try to invite you into the discussion. And I can't wait, John. What are you excited about? Well, the last couple of days, we've already seen all the ways that AI is impacting the world. And, and for those of you who've been able to go to the last few days, I just think it's been incredible. There's so much. I see some nodding heads. There's so much happening right now. But a fundamental question is, what does it mean for human creativity? And last year at MIT, we founded the Morningside Academy for Design, elevating creativity across MIT. And of course, we think about creativity mostly in terms of the arts and humanities, and yet, obviously, in technical fields, there's immense creativity as well. And how is AI going to empower human creativity and not hinder it, not replace human creativity? Exactly. So it's to enhance the human experience. That's what we're about. All of our designing, all of our work is to be really focused on societal impact and enhancing the human experience, empowerment, engaging, or else it's not for us. So that's what we're going to hear about today. It's really that creative piece and asking the hard questions as well. How do we get this right? It's not too late, but we have to ask those questions, trusted, ethical, creative, unleashing the best in all of us. And so when Sally Kornbluth, our president, thought we should have this week on Gen AI and also focus on creativity, Dave and I thought we'd bring some leading voices onto a panel so you'd hear from, from different sectors, whether it's architecture or literature or the arts or you know, human-computer interaction. And in addition, we're privileged to hear for some, from some students who are right at the leading edge of research and creativity in AI. And they have called it an expo. So you're going to hear some lightning talks from students. But guess what? They'll be out there showing you and demonstrating. No better way to show you and demonstrate. So we're really excited about that as well. So maybe without further ado, we've got a very special guest to kick things off this morning. And uh, this is a, a colleague, the chair of the MIT Corporation, but also a visionary who was investing in AI long before it was fashionable. And Thank you, Mark, for joining us. And he knows the entire kind of history as well, not just the Media Lab, but MIT AI from its inception to today where we are. We asked him to give a two-hour lecture, but he <laughs> said, how about just a five-minute welcome? So <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Gorenberg. Thank you. 